Welcome back to AP Microeconomics in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 1.6 covers marginal analysis and consumer choice, focusing on how rational consumers make decisions by comparing marginal benefits and marginal costs. To start off, you need to understand the concept of rational consumers. They're said to make decisions on how much of an activity or good to pursue based on an additional benefit, marginal benefit, compared to the additional cost, marginal cost. This leads us into the consumer choice theory, which revolves around three ideas. Consumers are rational and aim to maximize their satisfaction or utility, consumers face constraints such as limited income or budget, and number three, consumers use marginal analysis which is comparing marginal benefits and marginal costs to make sure it's the optimal decision. Constraints refer to limited resources such as time, money, or availability of goods. Rational consumers try to make the best possible choice within these constraints. Total utility refers to the overall satisfaction a consumer gets from all the goods and services they consume. This is measured numerically in utils. Rational consumers aim to get the most satisfaction satisfaction possible given their constraints. Diminishing marginal utility means that as a consumer consumes more of a good, the additional satisfaction they get from each extra unit decreases. Rational consumers distribute their spending in such a way that their marginal utility per dollar spent on each good is equal. The best way I think I could describe this is by using a table. Say we go to McDonald's every day for a week and spend $10 each time. For each day, the satisfaction level, measured in utils, will go down. Now you calculate the marginal utility, or satisfaction, per dollar by doing the marginal utility divided by the price for each one. And then say we have another scenario where we go to Burger King every day for a week and spend $10, and we quantify everything here. Now say we only have $60 to spend, and it was asking us to use marginal analysis to calculate the combination of the amount of times I should do both things. The way to do this is to keep picking whichever one has the highest marginal utility per dollar until you reach the dollar amount, which in this case is $60. And it's that simple. On the screen now are questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. See you in the next one.